Um, my name is Kirsten. I'm the Institute's director here at Goethe Institute Bangladesh, the German Cultural Center. Um, I have arrived in Hakka eight months ago, yes, end of last year. Um, so ever since I'm leading this institute, we have been here in Bangladesh for a very long time, um, since 1961. And um, well, of course, we, I would say we are functional, we are a functional institute. Um, I guess what you're, what you're asking for is that we had seen after the Holy Artisan yes, attack yes. a bit of a difficult time. Yes. Um, so certainly, um, as all the other cultural centers, um, for some time we had to um, kind of be a bit less um, pronounced or open with our activities. Um, and last year we didn't have an institute's director for most of the year. Um, so that definitely also meant like we had less cultural programs. Walking through the muddy land Since I left the castles made of sand here. But I guess um, we've, we're already back, I would say. We're fully functional, we have a wonderful team. Um, we have, uh, ever since I arrived, we did a lot for the language students, but we also did a lot for cultural programs. Obviously, that's work that takes time in a way, um, but if you look at what we've been coming up with um, in this month of September and what's going to happen in October, November, you'll see there's plenty of plenty of cultural activities. So, I'll give you a few examples um, of like the bigger programs we have at the moment. Um, we have a very good workshop program with sound engineering. Um, Having been in touch with many uh, event organizers, having organized events at the Bangladesh Shilpakala, but also having been in touch with production studios, etc. So we thought like it would be great to to give some additional kind of training um, in sound engineering because you don't have a course in sound engineering in Bangladesh. So we had two times two week workshops um, in sound engineering with a German sound engineer coming over and then inviting uh, a large group uh, of participants to kind of uh, participate in this. This was in partnership with Omni um, and we had participants from all Australia. So we had uh, participants from the media um, broadcasting, we had participants um, from organizations running live events uh, such as Shrithil Pukala, but we also had participants from production studios like music production but also filmmaking. Um, we had a lovely week with the Berlinale Spotlight which um, engaged at the Dhaka Dock Lab together with the uh, uh, Dhaka Dock Lab who was a partner and also international film initiative of Bangladesh um, and we also had programs here at Goethe Institute, um, kind of looking at the independent filmmaker scene and looking at ways on how we can also intensify this partnership in the next couple of years. Um, we've had a concert uh, of German band last week in Schilpakola, which I think left everyone very like emotional or very, like, I mean, I, f I think like everyone who was there fell in love with the group. Um, as part of a PASH program. Yeah, that was part of PASH program. So that was part of our um, program where we have these German language um, teaching in five schools in Bangladesh. And um, it was a celebration event, so 10 years of partner schools um, where German is being taught as a foreign language. Um, and the band performed partly in German, partly in other languages. So I think all these uh, PASH partner school kids who had a chance to participate um, must have been falling in love <laughs> with the band. And we have another, f uh, well this week we have quite, quite a few, we have a theatre show, we have a literature event, but we'll have uh, more coming up in October, November, we'll have more on contemporary dance, we have another theatre show coming up, we have Dhaka Lit Fest with whom we've partnered for a long time. So. I would say, I mean, you, you, you asked like how, how are we becoming more visible, how are we becoming functional again. I think during the last couple of months, um, me and my team, we've really um, pulled together our resources, looked at our previous partnerships, talked to all the partners and looked at what can we do in the future, how can we, you know, um, bring cultural programs in the sense of cultural exchange, working together with German-based artists and Bangladesh-based artists, like what, what, what's kind of the main 
needs here, like what do people want to work on. Um, we've looked into that, we've come up with something and now you see us back on stage. In Goethe we, we kind of are organized by the different um, cultural fields. Mm -hmm. So we do have programs in visual arts, mm -hmm. um, we do have programs in film, we have uh, um, programs in music, uh, what dance and theater, right. and then we have something we call discourses basically. Mm -hmm. So kind of culturally um, framed discourses mm -hmm. that could be climate change, that could be feminism, mm -hmm. um, like larger discourses that are currently very important um, around the world and where we feel um, with a cultural perspective we can also add to that. Um, certainly, I think um, we, as I said, like, it's very important in a global age of um, yeah, many people retreating to a specific group mm -hmm. and kind of not seeing the other, not being in interaction with other groups, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time an age where we, we see increasing migration around the globe and increasingly the need to engage with others and to, to be open-minded basically. I think in that situation um, it's very important also for us as Goethe Institute here to um, welcome everyone mm -hmm. and to, to engage in this dialogue and to find ways um, to go beyond our... Maybe we have people who are, who've always come to Goethe Institute and I would love to host them here and would love to welcome them. But I think we can also look at ways to bring new people who've not been so much acquainted with Goethe Institute, mm -hmm. neither with German language nor with our cultural programs. Um, and uh, that means bringing in more youth mm -hmm. Um, but maybe also bringing in uh, people from different educational backgrounds mm -hmm. um, and yeah, really trying to, to also find ways that attract people here. So if you look at this library, mm -hmm. we might think about gamification, mm -hmm. like a completely emerging field for the youth. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be detached from that. Huh? We should um, think of how we can integrate that um, and make make this part of a global exchange. Obviously, I first of all, most important is like that we have um, programs here that attract people, that are um, mm -hmm. programs interesting to the community here, programs that are not you know, just imported, but that are designed together with partners in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So we really like, that's one of our crucial missions to always work with partners here, mm -hmm. because that's where the cultural knowledge is and, and the best knowledge of the scene lies. Um, what I said before, I guess, is what I really want to see and, and do, um, to bring people here who um, have maybe not had the chance to engage so much into cultural activities but by doing so and by engaging with other people who are mm -hmm. already very much part of the cultural scene um, we can host in the Goethe Institute um, a community of uh, yeah, a well integrated society. Well, Bangladesh there's a lot of energy here by the people. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, yeah, um, you know, it's a country that is very fragile. Mm -hmm. um, you go to the countryside and you see the water and land continuously kind of interact mm -hmm. and fight. Mm -hmm. So it's a country which um, is fragile in that sense of, you know, are you water, are you land? Mm -hmm. So, and that's a question of mm -hmm. survival. Mm -hmm. um, but then I saw how people have a lot of energy to, um, to, to deal with this and are very creative minds and come up with very creative solutions and really want to, you know, want to make this land mm -hmm. and somehow integrate the water mm -hmm. and see how they can live with the water um, rather than see, seeing it as an enemy. So I think that's what fascinated me about Bangladesh in the very first place. And that is also what I see in the cultural field. We don't want a very, say, single-oriented picture or very narrow picture to emerge in Germany of Bangladesh, but we want to show the diversity. Mm -hmm. So 
with these kind of co-production oriented approaches where we have local partners mm -hmm. here, people mm -hmm. from Germany, but engaging into global messages mm -hmm. basically that we can spread in Germany as well, mm -hmm. showing what, what Bangladesh really is. Last message. Um, feel free to visit Goethe Institute. Um, feel very welcome to visit our Goethe Institute.